want to make sure your big toes, your heels are exactly the touch, skin on skin. And you're going to find that gaze right in yourself. It's going to be 60 minutes all about you. And let's start by interlocking the fingers, place them right underneath the chin. We're going to check in from the start. The lower body is solid. We're going to ground the weight in the heels, pushing the knees back. Thighs are nice and tight with the stomach in. And it's going to be moving nice and slow. So we're going to inhale for one, two, slowly elbows up, three, four, five. Elbows see that a little bit higher for six. Get exhale, six. And we're going to look at the ceiling, five. And as we look farther back, four, same time, we're going to go hands, palms, right at the end. The elbows touch up away from the chest. And we're going to... Inhale, slow, elbows spread out like wings, your chin down, parallel to the floor, you gotta wrap the hands around the chin. Now frame the face of the forearms with the elbows up and up, full lungs. Exhale, let's keep the lift in the elbows. As your head's drop and back simultaneously, the hands, palms, right at the end, the elbows touch away from the chest and the Inhale, elbows spread out and then up. They never drop down, right? It's your chin down as you keep lengthening the lift, the elbows up, up to the ceiling, up to the sky. Now full lungs. Exhale now, smooth rhythm, head dropping back. Slowly the elbows touch. Now remember, below your head, we're keeping that spine long and strong, no hunching back. And as we Inhale, nice, slow, chin down, elbows up. Remember, inhale, mouth close. You're breathing in through the nose. Once you focus on that snoring vibration on the back of the throat, and when it feels like you're full, what do we do? Inhale a little more. Exhale, that pressure release. So loud as possible. Awesome. We're getting out still there from each, every cell of the body. So go head back, elbows stretch forward, squeeze out every last drop of air to fully Inhale, nice, slow, chin down, elbows up, and getting that slow rhythm, just moving the arms and the head. We got stomach in, rib cage expanding. Inhale, a little more. Exhale, so again, gradually dropping the head back, out, hunching back. We want to round shoulders, elbows stretch forward and forward, away from your chest, and let's go nice, slow, chin down, elbows up. And now check in the lower body is still solid so we go weight in the heels knees back thighs tight stomach and keep it in as you exhale now lower body socks relax your shoulders we round shoulders elbows stretch forward and forward and let's go nice slow chin down elbows up now as you're ground in the fork I want you to literally grow up. So we got stomach in. I want you to lengthen the spine, chest, lift the elbows up higher, fill the lungs more, and then keep that length. Exhale, your chest is lifting to the ceiling. Weight, weight in the heels. So get those elbows stretch forward and forward, and let's stay nice, strong. Chin down, elbows up. We're gonna go three more in each breath. Should be a bit deeper, building that crescendo right here now. Get inhale a little more, a little more. Exhale now, where we look farther back. No hunching back, but around shoulders, elbows stretch forward, squeeze out all stale air thoughts, and let's go nice slow. Last two, biggest, best yet, looking to enter new territory of the lungs and it's happening right here now get inhale a little more a little more and let's hear loud as hot sound let's get it all out still there thoughts anything you don't need get it all out elbows stretch forward and forward and as we go last one super slow motion okay slower the better the more you're gonna use your lungs and when it feels like you're full, we expand your lungs. So you gotta inhale more, stomach and ribcage expand. Inhale a little more, a little more, and get it all out. Loud, ha, sound, mouth so wide open, you feel a stretch in the tongue. We got head back, elbows stretch forward now. So you gotta squeeze your arms, squeeze it all out, and awesome way to start out. So arms gonna float down. We're gonna keep your toes, heels together. Half moon pose, Ardha Chandra. So we get our arms over the head. We're going to interlock the fingers. We're going to release the next fingers, thumbs crossed. And right away, we're going to 
Lock the arms so we got those biceps against the head. We try to glue those palms so tight there's no gap in between. And with the wave in the heels, lengthen up and just bend right and left. So it's a little warm up here. And just connecting to how your body feels today, right? It's a little different each every day. The left side, the right side is going to be a little bit different, of course, as well. And most importantly now, make sure your mouth closed, you're breathing steady and consistently in out of the nose that's just going to fuel your practice right yoga is moving with your breath and let's go a couple more times right left okay once we hit the middle we're going to stop there and stand tall we're going to make sure all weights in the heels now arms are going to be locked palms tight as you can and as you have the weight in the heels give it that deep inhale now full long stretch up to the ceiling bend to the right shift the hips to the left Always in a straight line. Now the key is without bending the elbows to the knees. So especially first set, we're not caught up in how far you're bending down. More importantly, you're creating a stretch on the whole left side. So you might be a little bit off of vertical, but your arms are locked solid. Feel the biceps against the head. Your palms are tight. Feel that strengthening of the wrists. And from the start, it's been all weight in the heels and the heels, knees back thighs tight stomach in and your arms legs locked that's the key creating that dynamic stretch again feel it heels all the way to the fingertips as we ground the weight in the heels hips forward a little bit upper body back slightly and it's moving with your breath inhale we're gonna naturally lengthen and stretch create a little space so we push that little deeper in these last two you gotta breathe and breathe thighs tight stomach in come down and push and push right to the edge nice spot we come right back up we've got our arms still strong weight in the heels give me that deep inhale full lung stretch up to the ceiling bend left shift hips right and once again we're in it for a minute so it's also learning to pace yourselves Connect to your breath and let the body open up with your arms, legs locked, making sure you have your form, feeling that stretch on the whole right side of the body, every millimeter, heels to fingertips. We're grounding the weight in the heels, hips forward a little bit, upper body back slightly and make those little adjustments as you need. Now hips out of line, you work the right hip a little forward, square the hips. Shoulders out of line, you work the left shoulder forward. Okay, looking good. We got those hip shoulders in line arms farther behind the ears as we're opening into the chest and it's about lengthening up and over these last 10 sets in 10 seconds let's explore inhale gotta lengthen and stretch up a little bit exhale gotta push now breathe normally as you push right down as your flexibility gotta push that let's come right back up now arms still strong we're gonna Drop your head back, all the way back, like you're getting your hair shampooed. Now, still breathing in out of the nose. Inhale, gotta reach, stretch up to the ceiling. It's time to go back, right? There's no looking up anymore. We're gonna start looking back and pointing back along the ceiling, eventually along the wall. Now, same time, you gotta push your stomach, legs, hips forward, arms back. So it's a trade off, hips a little more forward arms a little more backward as you inhale lift the chest upward now heart up to the ceiling to the sky i gotta start use the arms gotta look back point back where you're looking eventually pointing so breathe and breathe stay strong a little more look back point back go back three two one and we're gonna come up as we come up we're gonna let that simmer for a second we're gonna lengthen up stomach in and all right, let's hinge the other way. So you're gonna hinge forward, bend the knees as you need to. Place the hands on the floor and drop your head down. And let's start moving the body, right? It's a little warm up, a little dance we do. We shake your legs, your hips, right, left, right, left, making sure everything is nice, loose, comfortable. Let the head drop down, no need to hold it up. Shake it out, yes, no. And also let's throw in a couple squat down bounces. We're waking up your joints here, especially in the morning. And then we're gonna squat down halfway and cup the hands right underneath those heels. So let's go for that grip. Ultimately, we're gonna go pinky side by side, stepping on the fingers. And then we're gonna bend the knees, get the elbows as far behind the calves. Once you get your best wrap around grip, we're gonna start 
pulling. Now steady pull, and right away I want that body smushed against your leg. So we don't care if you bend the knees, but we do care stomachs on the thighs, chest on the knees. Now I want you to start aiming the forehead towards the shins, right? Maybe it's not there today, but you're getting it closer, closer, and maybe it's on the shins. Now little by little, pushing the knees back, you gotta pull and lift the hips. Now that steady, constant pull, continuously lift the hips up and up and feel it, that stretch all over the back legs. And it gives you me 10 seconds of not less, more. I gotta breathe, keep on adjusting, breathe, gain strength with those biceps bulging, roll four, pull hips up and up, lock the knees, lock the knees, lock the knees. And then we change, so we'll go flat back, arms, head together, We're gonna hinge at your hips, keeping the arms up there. And just nice and slow, arms gonna float down. And then in between, it's just stillness and breath, right? Still like a statue, couple deep breaths, we let it settle. And then we look forward to doing it again. Second set, so we get arms up, lock. So let's go for that setup. Glue the biceps against the head. Second set, palms a little bit tighter, right? Feel that strengthening in the wrist right here now, preventing arthritis with the weight in the heels. Give it that deep inhale, full long stretch up, bend right, shift hips left, always in a straight line without bending the elbows or the knees. So we got arms, legs locked. Rocking the weight back and the heels with the hips forward a little bit. Upper body back slightly and with your chin up, breathe steady. It's moving with your breath. Inhale, we're gonna naturally lengthen and stretch, find a little space. Exhale, push, we get that little deeper. Now it should be a line of energy, heels to fingertips, open the body, bones to skin. As you come down, push and push. Get nice trees, let's come right back up. Arms still strong, weight in the heels. Give me that deep inhale, full long stretch up. Bend left, shift hips right. So you go right where you meet that initial resistance. It's inevitable we meet resistance. Most importantly, how do you react to it? You focus on your form and your breath. So we got that breath flow steadying out of the nose. Most important greeting. Your form looking good. We got those arms, legs locked, hips, shoulders in line. Now, as you breathe under the stretch, little by little, resistance melts away. We inhale, lengthen, stretch. You're finding space in the body. I feel push. You're getting a little bit deeper. And these last few seconds, I could explore that as your flexibility. You want new flexibility. Thighs tight, stomach in. Push and push and push. And change. Come right back up. Nice, strong to the end. We got arms still strong. Drop your head back, all the way back, let it go. Still breathing and out, nose, inhale, gotta reach, stretch up to the ceiling, start going back, right? There's no looking up anymore, right? It's only looking back and going back. As you push the stomach, legs, hips to the mirror, the arms back to the back wall, hips forward, arms back. Now inhale, lift the heart up to the sky. With your heart lifted, it's time to dive back, right? Most of it's be and out afraid to look back, point back, breathe and breathe, look back, point back, can so do a little more back, four, three, two, a little more. Get nice and nice to come right back up. And then we're gonna pause, lengthen up, stomach in, and let's go the other way. So we're gonna hinge forward, bend the knees as you need, place the hands on the floor. That moving and grooving, right? Do your little dance here. Just make sure everything is nice and loose. Shake it out, right, left, right, left. Let the head drop down. And once again, a couple squat down bounces. Maybe here are some snap, crackle pops, opening up the joints. And then let's squat down halfway, cup the hands right underneath the heels. Ultimately, pinkies are side by side. We're gonna bend the knees to get the elbows as far behind the calves. And once you have your best grip, let's go start to pull. Steady pull. Right away, I want your body leg sandwich. Stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees. Ultimately, part of that sandwich, forehead on the shins. And as your body against the legs, keep pushing the knees back, pulling, lifting the hips up and up. And I want everybody to think about locking your knees, right? It doesn't matter if it doesn't happen today, right? You're working towards it happening. You roll forward, knees back, pull hips up and up, lock the knees, lock the knees, toes, lock the knees. 
And then we change it with that flat back, arms, head together, gonna hinge at the hips. You're gonna keep the arms up there. Arms are gonna float down and just stillness and breath, still like a statue, couple deep breaths and keep flowing along. Awkward pose next, Ukatasa, we're gonna step right foot out, six inches about hip width distance apart. Make sure those feet parallel like train tracks. We get arms up parallel to the floor. So check in from the start. We got elbows locked, triceps tight. Now still breathing in out of the nose. Exhale, stomach in. We're gonna sit right down. So go one motion in the chair, 100% weight in the heels. Now let's make sure those five fingers together, including the pinkies. Now we gotta reach forward and forward. Inhale, gonna start lifting the chest. Arching upper body back. Now chest up. I want you to lean back into the back of the feet, a place known as the heels. Lean into the heels, reach forward and forward, and then come up. Onto the tippy toes, maximum like a ballerina. So we go all the way to the big end, second toe. We're going to visualize a wall behind you. And as you slide, down. I want your heels to be coming up and up and up, right? High as the heels go up. Ultimately, the feet perpendicular to the floor. Now, be mindful. We're not hovering forward. We got the upper body lean against that imaginary wall. We're breathing out of the nose. I want you maximum of the toes. Only get strong, steady, still. Four, three, two, one. Good. Nice, strong. Slide up. Arms still saw. We got third part. So that little bit of the feet, we jam the knees like it's one knee. We're going to visualize a wall behind you. Now straight spine and it's slowly sliding down that imaginary wall. Helps you go slow is jamming those knees together. And again, we want to be mindful, not hovering forward to that upper body, lean against that imaginary wall. Ultimate the hips slightly above the knees. So we're going knees down, chest up. Now as you hold patiently, jam those knees so you come up a little inch. And then slower than you want, slide up, right? Challenge yourselves. You're not only building physical, that mental strength as well. And then once it's over, let it be over. Right foot back, stand tall, breathe. Couple deep breaths. We're moving on. Ego pose got us. Now we're going to get arms up. Make sure you know right, left. We're going to swing right under left. Get elbows underneath, palms to touch. All right, we're going to pull the elbows up, down, loosen up a little bit. And then we're going to bend down into the knees nice and low. So, so we got to get down low into the knees. Keep the chest up. Together we're going to go right leg high up over. So it's like you're crossing your legs. Ultimately gonna wrap the foot around the calf. Now, if your foot's not wrapped around the calf, right, totally normal, right? You're just setting that intent little by little. Your chest is up and up. You're arching the upper body back with more weight of the heel. When it feels like you might fall, arch the back more and little by little, sitting low. Gonna pull the elbows down, stomach, and as we sink down, down low, Ar arch back more, and then squeeze and freeze. Good, nice layer. Let's get arms up, go right in, left under right, elbows underneath, palms to touch. So we're gonna work that grip. We're gonna pull the elbows up and down, bend down nice and low into the knees, stay down low, keep the chest up. Together we go left leg high up, over and around. And we all know it's normal to feel a little wobbly here, but we've got to keep actively arching up our body back for balance. Little more weight of the heel. And then as you're ready, we sink low. That's just gonna twist the legs more. We're opening up the ankles, knees, hips. And all the while, I'm gonna pull the elbows down and into the body as you arch back. Feel it opening the elbows, wrist, shoulders. Now let's arch back, get lower. Squeeze tight, freeze, concentrate, meditate. Awesome, and that's enough. Okay, we get arms up, arms down. Let's give that nice deep breath. Awesome warm up, and now time for a little refreshment party time. So enjoy. All right, so once we do get that little sip, we wanna keep the momentum going, flowing along here. These next three postures, balancing on one leg, starts with 
concentration, right? So we find ourselves, same spot you started, toes, heels together for alignment, and we're shifting 100 million percent focus to your left leg, and so the most important thing in your life right now, lock your left leg. So push the knee back, pull up in the thigh, there's no knee, right leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, stomach in, use your core, round down, and get a grip. And we're all in different places, right? Some of you might be a little more upright. Awesome, right? Building the foundation. As you're ready, grab as far along till ultimately you grab below the toes. And wherever you are, it's that one point laser beam focus, concentration, determination, obsession. Lock your left leg, pushing the knee back, pulling up in the thigh tight so there is no knee. Now as the weight comes to the side of the foot, press that big left toe down. Big left toe down. Now you feel that leg, solid concrete, not bending, budging, moving, then only gently kick the right heel towards the mirror, flex the toes. Now some of you kicking the heel out, same time flex the toes back to little by little, both legs lock. Now keep kicking, flexing, no bend in both knees. We're gonna work elbows down below the calves, wherever you are, pressing that big left toe down, breathing steady, holding strong still, three, two, one, and as you go to re reverse out, give it that nice deep inhale, nice deep back sound, we shift all focus, attention, and awareness to the right leg, pushing the right knee back, pulling up on the thigh. In it for a minute, we go left leg up, thigh parallel, stomach in, round down, and in it for a minute, right? So just try your best, right? And patience comes to play as well, right? Sometimes your best for today is falling out 10 times, getting in 11 times, right? Just staying with it. Keep pushing the knee back, pulling up in the thigh so there is no bend in the knee. Now weight comes to the side of the foot, pressing that big right toe down, big right toe down. Now you're feeling that leg, solid concrete, 10 feet below the ground, not bending then only. Kick. Heel towards the mirror, flex the toes, kicking the left heel out. Flexing the toes back to little by little, both legs lock. Now as you kick and flex, no bend in both knees, stomach in and in. Elbows working down below. Let's press that big right toe down these last few seconds. Let's tune up that concentration, determination, flex toes, pull, hold strong. Awesome, nice pull bar. I'm gonna work out the opposite way. Good, nice exit. We go hands on hips, quick little backward bend, head draws back and Second set, half the time. So we still got toes, heels together for alignment. We got your left leg, 10 feet below the ground, and we're gonna keep flowing along. Right leg up, thigh parallel, stomach in, round down, and for 30 seconds, try your best, right? And, and patience, right? Some of us stay with this first part. It takes time. This is the 10-year posture. So building that foundation, build it strong, pushing the knee back, pulling up in the thigh. Legs solid, 10 feet below the ground. And kick, right heel towards the mirror. Flex toes, kicking the heel out. Flexing the toes back to little by little, both legs locked. Now both legs locked. Stomach in. Elbows working down below. Let's make sure we're pressing that big, big left toe down. Heel out, toes in. Pull with a grip as you're ready. Chin in, stomach in. Four, head to knee. Three, two, one, awesome, good, hold, and reverse out. Really nice effort. And as you give that nice deep inhale, left so let's go last side set. Let's finish out strong. That right leg 10 feet below the ground. So go left leg up, thigh parallel to the floor, stomach in, and let's get to work, right? 30 seconds, keep it moving. Keep concentrating, meditating, obsessing. Lock your right leg, it's solid, concrete, not bending, budging. We're gonna Gently kick the left heel towards the mirror, flex toes. As you kick the heel out, flexing the toes back to little by little, both legs are gonna lock. Now, no bend in both knees, stomach in and in. Elbows working down below. Let's press that big right toe down. Now, just heel out, toes in more. And as you're ready, chin in, stomach in, forehead, knee, strong, still, statue. Three, two, pull. Awesome, so strong. And we're gonna reverse out, go hands on hips, quick little backward bend, head thoughts back. And let's go for standing bow. 
All right, so still got toes, heels together, that foundation from the bottom up. We're gonna go right arm out, palm up, holding that tray straight down. You know, it's that inside grip at the ankle. All right, once we work that grip, we're gonna go knees together for alignment. Your left leg 10 feet below the ground, your left arm reach up to the sky. Whole left side is energized. We got chin up and stretch up, and it better be a strong yeah. back and up, back and up you're kicking as far away from the butt up to the ceiling i want you to feel a beautiful curve in the spine got your chin up chest lift and that left arm slot i want your finger five fingers together aiming right to the eyes like a bullseye we got a strong kick we got a strong stretch equal opposite balance forever but of course it's yoga practice right not yoga perfect fallout Awesome, right? It's how we learn, but we're right back in as we get a little deeper. Body down as you kick. Stretch forward as you kick. It feels like you might fall. You kick and kick and touch down and reach forward and kick and kick. Reach, touch the eyes, kick the sky. Awesome, good. Next time you have to reverse out. Give it that nice deep inhale. Nice deep exhale. Now last of the minute postures, we're gonna go left arm out, palm up, so go straight down for that inside grip. Now knees together for alignment. Right leg 10 feet below the ground. Right arm reach up to the sky. Now we got whole right side energized, got chin up and stretch up and give me a strong kick back and up. Now just give it time, especially first set to let the kick gradually bring the body down, right? I don't want you so, Anxious to get the body down right away, right? Let the body open up as you kick back and up, back and up. Body gradually comes down with that chin up, chest lifted, and that right arm solid. And it's all from you. You got a strong kick. Back, back and up. You maintain a strong, strong stretch. Five fingers aim into the eyes like a bullseye. And you kick, stretch, equal, opposite, 50-50, balance for... Ever. Now 15 seconds, it's all from you. Balance your kick, stretch, steady breath, explore a little deeper, body down, stretch, forward, kick in more, harder, chest down and down, reach forward and forward and kick, up and up and kick. Awesome, nice strong kick, there it is, we reverse out. Find your breath right at this point. Definitely should be challenging, but best thing to do, those couple deep breaths, reset, focus. Nice strong for round two. We know it's half the time, twice the fun, so let's go right arm out, palm up, straight down for that inside grip. All right, once we get that inside grip again, try to work those knees together as you can for alignment. That left leg, of course, 10 feet below the ground, left arm reaching up to the sky. Now pull that side, energize, chin up, reach up, and give it a strong kick. Back and up, back and up with the chin up, chest lifted, that left arm solid, and it's all in the mouth. Panic, strong kick, stretch, equal, opposite, balance forever, especially 10 seconds. You're in control, just body down, kick. Stretch forward, kick, and when it feel like you might fall, you kick and kick and kick and chest down and kick. Awesome, good, nice five, we're gonna reverse out. Give me one more, deep inhale, exhale, left arm out, palm up, straight down for that inside grip. So we go knees together for alignment, right leg 10 feet below the ground, right arm reach up. Now 30 seconds, keep that focus. One point focus, concentration, you reach up, you know, it's your strong kick, drive your body down. Your right arm is solid, stabilizing your posture, and you understand, you find the balance, not from me, it's from you. It's your kick, your stretch, you balance them out, you balance forever, ever and ever. Now these last 10 seconds, breathe, Smile, kick, chest down, kick, reach for kick, more, heart of maniac, four, three, reach for kick. Awesome, beautiful bows here, working so hard, nice strong kick, and then we step to the bathroom at 10 seconds, no time to waste, right? We're gonna make up your mind, 
anything for 10 seconds. So we go right in, balancing six. We got our arms up, lock. We're gonna go biceps against the head, palms tight as you can. Inhale, gonna lengthen right leg, step, lock, and go. Right down, body down, leg up, right down, parallel to the floor. Be look like that, capital letter T. You gotta lock knee, point toes back to the back wall. She goes biceps against the head, palms tight, shoulders come out of the body. You gotta reach forward and touch the mirror. Get nice chase against the back. Give me one more. Inhale, gonna lengthen left leg, step lock, and just go. Hit that fearless button and go. Zero to 100, real quick. Body down, leg up, parallel out of the floor, every muscle contracted. And as you're stretching forward, upward, fingertips, toes, feel like you're floating as you stretch and stretch and stretch and change. So we step back, arms down, and you wanna stand still tall and breathe. And take it down a notch. So let's take that pivot, whatever it works for you, but we're gonna come to the left of the mat, separate leg stretching. All right, so once again, you find your toes, heels together. And we're gonna get arms up. We're gonna lengthen and give it that big four foot step, arms down. So you know your mat's about six feet. We're looking for a four foot step, so make sure it's pretty big. We got arms down right away, heels in line, big toes in. Stretch the arms out, stomach in and give it a swan dive down. I want this to be in slow motion, right? Not in a race, see it down there, just slow control, arms back, chest open, you get down, so you cannot get down, right? Inevitably, we all meet resistance, and then we go from there. See where your grip is at, right? We're looking for those heels. Some of us, we bend the knees, grabbing towards the heels, and if that's not happening today, right, normal, right? So maybe you grab towards the baby toes, ankles, or place the hands in front of you. First, the legs are stretching. Now, if you have your grip, your legs are bending, right? All we're thinking about is loosening the back of the legs so the legs lock, right? And this takes time, right? Back of the legs can be pretty stubborn. Those hamstrings take time to open up. So little by little, knees back, hips up. If and only if there's no bend in the knees and your thighs are tight, all right, start thinking forward to the floor as you pull with the upper body strength. You inhale, strength. Exhale as you do pull with those elbows more, more lined inside the calves. I want you pull, pull chest through the wind of the legs. I want you to look exactly where you're going. Ultimately, that forward, right on that spot on the floor between the toes. You feel that stretch all over the back legs, down spine, 360 stretch, thighs tighter. Hollow out the stomach, open the diaphragm, a little more in the toes, use gravity, pull a little more, pull down on the floor, we're gonna pull. And then we change, we got arms out, chest open, we're gonna hinge up, we're gonna step, right foot back, we get arms up and down, and just give it those couple deep breaths, and we are standing at the peak of the mountain. So we're going in, triangle pose, chicken asa works, everything. We got arms up, so we're gonna lengthen in, Big step, four feet arms down. So we got arms down, ankles below the wrist. We're gonna turn right foot out, parallel to the wall in front of you. Push the hips forward a bit and then bounce into the right knee. Give it a few big bounces down and down low. Now we're gonna stay down, arms back, go. Right elbow in front of the right knee, left arm stretch up. Now at this point, you gotta literally tear the arms apart. You're reaching up to 12 o'clock, down to six o'clock. We go chin to the left shoulder, gonna breathe steady and out of the nose. And as we go, every muscle contracted, engage the left thigh, engage the left gluteal muscle, press that left foot down, down as you got stomach in and in and push into the knee. Twist, upper body back to open chest and feel like you might just touch the ceiling and then come out. Other way, right foot in, left foot out, switch it up, push the hips forward, bounce, bounce into the left knee. So we get down and down low, we're gonna stay down low, we got arms back, go left up in front of the left knee, right arm stretching up. At this point, you're tearing the arms apart, reaching up to 12 o'clock, down six o'clock, we go chin to the right shoulders, you're breathe, steady and out of the nose, now engage the right thigh. Engage the right gluteal muscle. Now as you press that right foot down to the floor, not, not going anywhere, stomach in, keep it in, push it in the knee, twist the upper back, the open chest and touch ceiling and come out. So we're gonna step 
five foot back, we get our arms up, down, and just find your breath, right? After working everything in the body, give it a couple deep breaths to let that simmer, reset, focus. And you know, same thing, nice, strong for the redo. Round two, we get our arms up. So we're gonna lengthen in, bam, big step, four feet, our arms down. So you got ankles below the wrist. We're gonna turn right foot out, parallel to the wall in front of you. Push the hips forward, bounce into the right knee. Give a few big bounces, get down, down low. Now stay down low, arms back, go. Right elbow in front of the right knee. Left arm stretching up, chin to the left shoulder. Got to keep reaching and stretching without stopping intermission. As we take it moment by moment, breath by breath. You're never, ever anticipating when you might perhaps come out. More so appreciating and working every muscle, joint, organ, gland as we drop the left hip down a little and push under the knee while twisting up pretty back and reaching up to the ceiling of the sky or space. And then out, good, strong for that last millisecond. Let's go one more, right foot in, left foot out. Push the hips forward and bounce and bounce to that left knee, get down and down. Low. Now we stay low, freeze, get our arms back. So left elbow in front of the left knee, right arm stretching up. And at this point, you got to go all out, right? Easier to go 110% than 88%. So keep reaching and stretching without stopping. And as you go breath by breath, you never, ever, ever, ever give up, give in stronger than you think. We drop, get down a little, and push into the knee. And open the marriage in the heart, lung to reach up, seal out of the scattered space. And that's enough. Strong to the end. We step right foot back, arms up, down, and we give it a couple deep breaths with the chin up, chest open. And starting to go downhill. A couple more. We are on the floor. So standing separate leg forward to the knee. We got arms up, lock hands in prayer. Let's lengthen step three feet and then pivot on your heels. So back foot now is the left foot 45 degrees. Flex your left hip a few times. Try to square the hips, lock the arms, and let's get that throat choke as you round in. Slow motion going into it, right? This is where we're gonna build that control. It's not a race, slower the better. Now, once you are down there, we go hands on either side of the foot for a balance. And this is where we got to literally think, where's your forehead? Where's your knee? And why are they not together? They desperately want to meet. So you do whatever it takes, bending the right knee as you need to, rounding the spine as much as you can. So let's stomach in and in. Once you be tractioning that middle spine up, creating a nice hunchback and with that chin in. You feel like your throat choking, but it's not compressing the thyroid, power thighs, stabilizing weight, metabolism, forward a little higher. You feel that stretch in the back of the neck, stretching your brainstem, and do a lot of gata as you push, suffer, forward a little, teeny tiny, something, eyelash closer to the knee. You got a whole throat choke, breathe normal. Hands in prayer so you could balance without anticipation. and slowly unwind the spine. Let's stop vertebra slow, build your control. We're gonna go chin up last. Good, nice chin, nice exit there. So we're gonna take that pivot and we're gonna take another pivot. So this time back foot is the right foot. Flex it a few times, flex the right hip a few times, square the hips, lock the arms, chin in, stomach in. And once again, take your time, slowly rounding in. And at this point, you're down there, you should be on an active mission to get exact forehead to exact name. Now, we all know this is not the easiest mission, but understand nobody but yourself is going to get your forward to the knee. So you got to get to work, got to be willing to suffer temporarily for lifetime benefits as we hollow out the stomach. Tracked in the middle spine up and with that chin and throat choking, ever it takes, push, suffer, lock leg for a little teeny something cross your knee, hold, hands in prayer so you get balance patiently. Okay, press the left foot down and slower than you want. Rooting the left foot down, stack vertebra one by one by one till the chin up last. Good. 
let's take that pivot, right foot back, so you got arms down and, all right, let's close out as always, more of a meditative posture, find yourselves same spot you started, toes, heels together. And we're gonna shift all focus to the left leg, so you gotta lock it out. So you're gonna push the left knee back, pull up in the left thigh. Right leg up, grab your foot, work it up high as you can onto the thigh. And now focus on your left leg, pushing the knee back, pulling up in the thigh, there is no knee. We go right hand in prayer, close to the heart. Now left leg down, stomach in, lengthening up, spine, chest. Now if you're feeling pretty sturdy here, toe stand, look four feet in front, Hinge down at your hips slow. Eventually the fingers are gonna touch the floor. Of course, you have the option to stay here, no worries, right? Build that strong tree, so 10 feet below the ground with that left leg. Let's grow a little bit taller, shoulder blades back, open chest, eyes soft, breathe steady. And I'm gonna release that, so go right leg comes down. Last one, okay, left leg up, grab your foot, finish out nice, strong here. Starts with the root, right leg is 10 feet below the ground, pushing the knee back, pulling up in the thigh, there is no knee. Left hand in prayer, close to your heart, is that right leg down, stomach in, you gotta lengthen the spine, chest. I want you to look tall, proud, relax, eyes soft, breathe steady. Got that optional smile here, last few seconds, you hold strong, steady, still like a statue, concentrate, meditate. Awesome, wonderful standing series, let that go. Left leg down, give it that nice deep breath, acknowledge your hard work, and let's get to relax. I'm gonna lay down your backs for a little bit. This is where I just settle into the floor and you all know this is a posture, right? So just like any other posture, check in with the form. Your heels are together, feet are gonna naturally float out. Arms should be right alongside, palms up. And we all know the challenge, right? Staying still, especially those arms like to move around, right? We wanna be physically still, allowing maximum circulation. On top of that, a little more challenging, of course, mentally still. So let's start focusing on your breath only. Nice deep inhale, belly rise. Nice deep exhale, belly falls. And eventually that is all you care about. Belly rising, falling, allowing yourselves to sink deeper and deeper. Ultimately, it's the floor holding you up as if you're weightless. And we're gonna start up again with wind removing pose, Pavana toss. So we're gonna work those toes, heels together for alignment. Right leg up, 10 finger grip right below the knee. We're gonna work the knee slightly out, avoid the rib cage, and then steady down to the shoulder. Gaze down towards your chest, lengthen in the neck, and as you keep work closer to the shoulder, you gotta inhale for strength. Exhale, gotta pull in with that steady pull. Let's go, stomach in and in. Biceps are bulging and with any and all strength right here now. Deep breath, pull, squeeze, tighter, freeze. Okay, so we're gonna right leg comes down, we go left leg up for that tight 10 finger grip. We're gonna work the knees slightly out, avoid the rib cage, steady down to the shoulder. Gaze down towards your chest, lengthen in the neck, and let's go closer to the shoulder. Inhale, strength. So I'm gonna pull on as we got stomach in and in. I wanna see some biceps bulging at any and all strength right here. Now use it, deep breath, pull, squeeze, tighter, freeze. Okay, nice strong, and let's go left leg down, both legs up, and we go right in to grab opposite elbows over the knees. If not the elbows, grab what you can, and most importantly, Time for that big hug, okay? And each breath, we know we want a bigger hug. So let's inhale for strength. Exhale, pull. And as you maintain that steady, constant pull, internally should be only getting tighter, compactor, massaging the colon, working inside out. So as we go last chance, biggest hug, deep breath, pull, 
squeeze tighter, compactor, and freeze. And as soon as you release, got to receive the benefits right about now. High speed oxygenated blood rushing into the colon, and your job is to lay down, do nothing, and receive everything from the posture, reigniting the digestive system. We let that settle now. First of many sit ups, toes, heels, touch. You're going to flex toes to the face, arms over the head, stomach in, inhale, breathing calm. Up, double exo, grab toes, four to the knees. So we're going to turn around, lay down in the stomach, and these next four postures is your spine strengthening series. So as we got cobra pose, we got hands close to the chest. We're going to line fingers up at the tops of the shoulders. Now the elbows are up and into the body as we're zipping up that leg. Crazy, get those heels together. Keep the feet pressed down, not using your hands. Back strength, inhale, gotta peel, chest up. Not push up, we gotta peel chest up and we'll be looking up where your eyes go, you go. So let's go, chest up, look up. And as we tighten the legs, let's go that little more chest up, look up, little hairline more up, elbows in and freeze and breathe and release and relax. So as soon as you hit the floor, let's go. Left ear to the towel, arms to your sides, give those few deep breaths. All right, round two, same thing, nice strong here. We line fingers up, tops of the shoulders, elbows up and into the body, and let's get some extra crazy goo on those heels. Feet stay pressed down to the floor. Inhale, gotta peel chest up. So not push up, right? So you gotta peel chest up and look up. And again, each, every rib's gonna be up off the floor. So let's keep going up, chest up, look up. Now make sure heels, Jam together, feet pressed down and down, chest up, look up, thighs tight, glutes tight, can so do a little more up, elbows in and freeze. Good, nice three sets to go straight down, right ear to the towel, arms to your sides. You got to go long, deep breaths, automatic. The locust pose, palms face down in the towel towards the lower body. And let's try to work those pinkies to touch, right? That's our target, pinky side by side. And maybe not today, right? But we're working towards it. Elbows, pinkies, as close as you can, little by little. We got chin out, nice stretch in the neck. Your right leg solid and up 45 degrees. Now we're going to engage the right thigh, lock the knee, point toes back to the back wall, extend leg out, hold still, three, two, once you're gonna go relax the right, lock the left, lift now, engage thigh, and lock knee, point toes back to the back wall, extend the leg, hold still, three, two, one, mouth on towel, kiss the towel, elbows closer, palms flat, tighten the leg, one leg. Crazy go those heels together, give it that nice deep breath, it's got false legs. Up, you shift all the way to the shoulders. Use all upper body strength. Now use your hands as well. Fingers press into the floor. Push, struggle, try a little more. Up. Awesome. Nice, Bob. Now slow on the way down. Building that control on the exit. And then we shake it out. Let it go like it never happened. Okay, round two, same thing, right? Palms face down. Let's do that little shuffle back forth. Elbows, pinkies as close as you can underneath the body. Also think about your chin is out on the mat, getting a nice stretch in the neck, throat here. And as you got your right leg solid, it's up 45 degrees, half of 90, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you're going to relax the right, lock the left, and lift. Now, so we'll go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mouth on towel, kiss the towel, going to rock back forth. Elbows closer, palms flat. Tighten the leg, heels glue, give it that deep breath. Let's go, both legs up, all out. So go 10. Nine, eight, seven, six. Now extra gear more. Four, three, two more. Slow on the way down. 
shake it out, let it go, right ear to the towel, melt into the floor. All right, let's work that arms out like airplane wings, tighten the leg, it's one leg. So we're gonna fly, full locust. We got chin out as well. So once again, heels together, we're gonna press the hips down, rest body in the air. So go hips down and everything up. We go arms up, chest up. Now we gotta be look up. Now I gotta breathe, spatting it out of the nose. So you got breath by breath, go chest up, legs up, and spreading those wings. Go fly everything, chest up, legs up, spread your wings, go up. Good, and you start out slow on the way down. Left ear to the top, two deep breaths. And let's fly again. Spread those wings, tighten that leg up. Extra crazy go on those heels, press the hips down, give it that deep breath and just fly. We go arms up, chest up, it's gotta be eyes up, look up and as you breathe, steadying out of the nose, your fuel. We go breath by breath, chest up. Legs up. Now I want you to be spreading those wings, cross your room, and you know as not to fly down. Chest up, legs up, everything up. Fly. Awesome. Make sure it's a nice smooth land right here to the towel. So good, right? You give it that extra effort, that last second, right? Where you where you're building so much strength. There you're strengthening the middle spine. And now final posture kind of integrates all the spinal work, working whole spine, lower, middle, upper together, bow pose, get a grip right below the toes, outside grip. Right, once you get that outside grip, we're going to work those knees, feet together as best as you can. Now we're going to start by pressing the hips down, taking a deep breath, and make sure we give it a strong Kick as you kick, body peels up, and I gotta look up. Simple, look up and kick up and breathe as you kick. Shoulders relax back. Now as you gotta look higher, kick harder, head up and kick. And then as you release in, let's be relaxing. Right, all effort, complete relaxation, complete box. And then same thing, nice strong round two, 20 seconds your day. So we're going to work that grip right below the toes, outside grip, and best as you can, knees, feet together to start. Once we have that, we're going to press the hips down, give it that deep breath, and give it a strong kick. And as you kick, body peels up, you look up. And it's so simple. You just look up, and you kick up and you breathe and as you start to kick with your thighs glute shoulders relax back you gotta look higher feel that stretch in the throat and extra gear more head up kick and kick and kick and then as soon as you release it gotta be relaxing my dear to the top the props all right change of pace come up top of the towel fix firm pose now we all know first order of business as you come in a fixed firm is to open your heels hip width distance and see if you could sit in between the heels. And we all know definitely not the most comfortable endeavor we do. So if it's uncomfortable, maybe you're sitting a little more upright, totally normal. Over time, you're gonna be able to sit in between the heels. Now open the knees as you need to. Now it's only if you got your butt on the floor and you're comfortable like that, Grab each foot, fingers face towards the heels, and go down right elbow, left elbow. And you know the main mantra here is not to torture yourself too much, just a little bit, and breathe. Okay, make sure you are breathing long and deep, right? Obviously, sometimes you get a little fearful working in the knees, ankles, but you're in a good, safe healing space. So just keep breathing long, deep. You find where it's manageable discomfort, breathing and breathing. We'll hold it here a few minutes, breathing long, breathing deep, keep breathing. And we're gonna take a few long, deep breaths together. I'll give it that nice deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
All right, let's give it one more. Fill up your lungs, empty them out, and just be gentle as you come up on the exit, one arm at a time. Heads are gonna come up last. Good, nice slow as you come up. And then just as you're ready, let's get that quick turnaround. And this is where the benefits come to you, right? So, you know, it might feel a little rickety in those knees, ankles, but we're opening up right here. Fresh blood, synovial fluid rushing into the knees, ankles, recharging the joints, helping to break up any scar tissue that might be there as well. And these next few postures designed to work deep into the spine. So let's go half tortoise, stretching the spine out, flex feet, arms over the head, stomach kind of breathing, come up, double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. So this one, we go middle of your tile, knees, feet together, sitting on your heels. And now once you're on those heels, we're gonna get arms up and lock. So we'll go hands in prayer, thumbs cross, arms as far behind the ears. Inhale, we're gonna lengthen up, slow, Exhale, gotta reach forward and go nice and slow, slower towards the end. Ultimately, we're gonna go forehead, pinkies to the floor. Now down there, we got arms locked, got no elbows, your hands in prayer, like you're praying, and let's walk the pinkies up little by little. Stomach in and in, traction the tailbone back. Now you're reaching forward, tailbone stretching back, or do you feel that? Longation in the spine, kind of like that 10 second posture, minus the balance and let's breathe long, deep, keep actively breathing and stretching, breathing, stretching, palms glued, reach forward and forward and with the knees glued and a flat back, we're gonna hinge up very slow, right? Slow motion as you come up, building that control. Now as we get arms down, we're not gonna turn around, let's transition right into camel pose, stand on top of those knees, measure about two fists between the knees, feet right behind. Hands on hips, fingers face down, like you got hands in the back pockets, we got elbows as far behind the body, we're gonna be easing in. Inhale, gonna lift the chest, head, exhale, we're gonna drop your head back, and as soon as you drop your head back, you're officially in camel pose, whatever you do, breathe long, deep, and out of the nose through whatever, little by little, hips forward, forward, chest, stop. Now you know we're not racing for your heels, but if you see the middle of the wall behind you, grab your heels, thumbs outside, fingers inside. If not, hands on the hips is absolutely fine, right? Most importantly, whole front side is wide open to the stomach, chest, throat, breathing long, deep as you exhale, hips forward. Forward, inhale, chest out, keep breathing long. Let's finish stronger. Exhale, hips forward. Heart, inhale, heart up. And as we go, hands on hips, it's gonna be head up last. And you know, especially after combo, it's gotta be up and around, whatever you're experiencing at the end of the Vasco. And we all know it's normal to feel abnormal. And if that's the case, take it not as bad as good. It's working, right? With this energy moving through your body, letting go of stuff you don't need to carry. So let's do it again. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach on our breathing, come up. Double exhale, grab toes, forward to the knees. Top of the towel, stand on top of the knees. We're gonna measure about two fists between the knees, feet right behind. We're gonna go hands on hips, fingers face down. So we got elbows as far behind. Inhale, we're gonna lift the chest head. Exhale, let's drop the head. Now it's again, you're right in the posture. You let the head go. Keep breathing long and deep. And as hips forward and forward, chest up and up, gradually letting the head drop back and back. Now, only if you see halfway down the wall behind you, look to grab heels. If not, no worries, hands on the hips. Most importantly, feel it, whole front side wide open. As you exhale, hips forward, forward inhale, chest up, and you gotta breathe long, deep, directly into the heart. We're opening it up, so give me 10 seconds to breathe and breathe some more into it and through it. Let's see, you could trace eyes, a couple inches down the wall as you go back, exhale, hips forward, forward and inhale, lift up and heart up, seal under the spine. Awesome, really nice. And now, as you go hands on the hip, head comes up, dive up and around, right? Whatever your experience, again, it's in Savasana, breathing long, deep, best thing to do, whether you feel wonderful, horrible, 
somewhere in between, always the best thing is to breathe long and deep. All right, as we give that a chance to settle, let's complement that with a rabbit pose. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach on our breathing, come up. Double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. Come down, middle of your towel, knees, feet together, sitting on your heels. Now, once you're sitting on your heels, you're gonna wrap the towel over the heels. You're gonna grab thumbs outside, fingers inside. We're sitting upright. Finger throat choke with the chin in, stomach in, and I want you to take your time rounding in. So the more you round into it, the better. Top of the head to the towel. Top of the head to the towel. If there's a gap, I'm gonna to try to walk knees, forehead, one by one, and then start to pull. Gotta grab your heels in. Pull, lift the hips up and up. We got stomach in and in. You gotta roll forward. I'll think gonna pull, hollow out, stomach roll. Palm over to the arms, lock, and smish arms against the legs. You're gonna pull, lift, hips that little millimeter up, stomach in, hips up, down. So you're gonna unravel slow, stack vertebra, chin up last. And then we'll get that quick turn around, lay down like clockwork right to the very end. Couple deep breaths in between. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach under breathing, come up, double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees. All right, round two, knees, feet together, sitting on your heels. We're gonna wrap towel over the heels, grab thumbs outside, fingers inside, now sitting upright, choking your throat right, chin in, stomach in, and rounding in. And we looked again, top of the head to the towel. And many of us, there's that gap between the knees and the forehead, normal, right? But we try to bridge the gap, walk the knees to forehead little by little, and then just start to pull. Tight grip on the heel, pull, lift the hips up and up, stomach in. I want you to think about hollowing out the stomach more than you could possibly imagine, working into that lower spine. You gotta roll forward and forward, ultimately stomach in, roll forward to the R, no elbows, your arms lock, smush arms against legs, Shoulders up from the ears. Now let's get a handful of heel to pull hips that millimeter up to the sky. And let's go hips down. Let's go to wide spine. We've got chin up. And again, that quick turn around, lay down. And we're right in for that home stretch. Two more postures, one set of each. Let's do it. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach and our breathing, come up, double exhale, grab toes, four to the knees, turn around, face yourselves in the front. Let's go separate leg stretch. So we've got our right leg out about one o'clock, press the left foot against the thigh. We get arms up and our lock fingers, lengthen, twist right, chin in, round in, and let's go forehead to a knee, right? Bending the knee as much as you need to, tight grip below the toes, and this you gotta go for it every little bit, pushing the forehead deeper into the knee. Kicking the heel away from you, flexing the toes towards you. So go heel out, toes in, little by little, right leg lock, elbows down the calves. So go heel out, toes in, and pull, and change the other way. So we go left leg out, right leg in. We're gonna lengthen and twist left, chin in, round in, and let's make forehead to knee. Happen, bending the knee as you need to, tight grip below the toes, and Get to work, right? We're so warmed up. So every little bit, pushing the forward deeper, kicking the heel out, flexing the toes little by little. Left leg lock, we got elbows down, down to the calves, kick and flex and pull and change. So we go both legs out. We're gonna lay right down. As soon as you're down, you are up. Double exhale, grab toes, forward to the knees, and let's take those middle and next fingers like hooks right around the big toes, hook them up, and then we're gonna shake your hips out, little dance we do, right, left, right, left, loosen up a little bit. All right, we know first order of business is to lock your legs, right? So if your legs bend as you get their grip, normal, right? Give it time to keep kicking heels for flex toes so the legs eventually lock. That means there's no bend in the knees and the thighs are tight. Once your knees lock, thighs tight, let's go. Stomach in, inhale, lengthen, stretch up out of lower spine. Exhale, pull. As you pull, you get your chin forward and look forward. You're looking where you're going. Ultimate destination, forehead, two toes. Now, I don't care how far away your forehead is from the toes, but I care is are you getting it closer? Millimeter by millimeter, inhale, lengthening. Exhale, pull, chin forward, look forward. And a little more, pull. 
Awesome. Good. Nice work, Laura. I'm going to sit, sit right back. Arms of your head. We'll go right for that. Nice strong sit up. Double up toe. Grab toes. All right. Final posh. Let's do it. So spinal twist face, whatever works for you. We're going to bend the left knee in line with the belly. And then we're going to go right foot up over the knee, flat down. Now we go right arm behind the spine. Keep it straight. Left arm up over the knee. Now we're going to push into the knee. And we're going to look over the right shoulder as you twist. Inhale, we're going to lengthen the spine, chest, head. Exhale, look over the shoulder, twist. Now we got stomach in and in, working into the lower spine. Push into the knee, work to the middle spine. As we lean a little bit into that right hip, let's lift, lengthen the spine, chest. Look over that right shoulder. See something new over that shoulder. Got to twist. And let's go the other way. This time we're going to... Bend the right knee. So we're going to line right knee with the belly. We're going to go left foot up over the knee, flat down. So we go left arm behind the spine. We'll go right arm up over the knee. And got to push under the knee. Look over the left shoulder and let's do the twist, right? Warming up the whole time, twisting the spine top to bottom. So inhale, we're going to lengthen the spine, chest, head, up to look farther over the shoulder. Now stomach in and in. And working that lower spine as you push that elbow under the knee, feel that opening in the middle of the spine. Now as we lean, Look into that left hip, get taller, lift the chest head and look farther over that left shoulder. Last chance, got a twist. And let's release, relax on your back. Now, as always, the final sit up is the best sit up. So let's make it happen. Flex feet, arms over the head, stomach on a breathing, come up, double exhale, grab toes and. All right, let's close out. And final breathing, knees, feet together, sitting on the heels, Kalabhati breathing. So once you're there, let's grab those knees. So arms locked, spine straight. And we all know focusing on the exhale, inhales automatic. So together with the exhale, go. Stomach in, 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 stale air, out, out, out. Stomach in, 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 stale air, out, out. Out, stomach in, 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 still, air, out, 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 stomach in, 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 as we go faster, stomach in, 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 this hurts, all coming out, still, there, thoughts, get them out right here now, stronger, gonna be last 10. And that is it, seal your practice, everybody, wonderful, wonderful work today, and then as you're ready, give it some time. All right, final, final part, lay down, do nothing, and this you're gonna receive everything of your hard work. So final savasana, feel free to spread out as you like a little more with your arms, your legs, close your eyes. Always comes back to that breath, your anchor, breathing long, deep, diaphragmatic breaths, nice deep inhale, belly rise, nice deep exhale, belly falls. As you keep breathing long, deep, we do that quick scan of your body from the head down onto your toes. We all know we work the whole body, head to toe, bones to skin, inside out. You're going to relax the top of your head, your skull. Relax the top of your head. Relax your temples, your forehead. Relax. And let the eyes sink a little bit deeper into their sockets. Let the brain sink a little bit deeper into the back of your head. Relaxing your cheekbone, your jaw, whole face, revitalize, relax. And then right down into your throat, right? Such a powerful part of the body, your throat, passageway for breath, your self-expression here. So opening up your throat, opening up your voice, opening up the throat. Onto your shoulders, any tension there is melting away, no need to carry it. And then down onto the arms, relaxing your biceps, relaxing your biceps, elbows revitalize, recharge, relaxing your forearms, relaxing your forearms, wrists revitalize, recharge, and all the way down to your hands, relax from your thumb to your pinky, whole arms revitalize, recharge inside out. And then let's find yourself in the center of your chest, right? A very powerful part of your body. This is where your heart is. We're opening up your heart, opening up your heart, opening up the heart, feel it vibrating out. And then down onto your torso, still feeling that up, down motion going on, breathing long, deep, relaxing your torso, relaxing your torso, and then down onto the hips, melting into the floor a little bit deeper. 
coming all the way down to the legs, relaxing your thighs, relaxing your thighs, your knees, revitalize, recharge, such an important joints for stabilizing your posture throughout the journey of life. Calves, revitalize, recharge, relaxing your calves, and then down onto your ankles. Also important joints for stabilizing your posture. Ankles, revitalize, recharge, down into your feet. Revitalize, relax, all the way from the big toe, pinky toe now, all the way from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head, inside out. Revitalize, recharge, and give it a few deep breaths on your own. And just remember this relaxation you create for yourself showing up on your mat today. Keep that relaxation with you throughout the day. Remember, do not let anybody steal your peace. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.